Hi, uh, my name's Wendy. I teach elementary music, um, and I am really good at folding a parachute. And uh, some people saw me a few years ago do this at TMEA, and they said, you should make a video, like at the end of the year, so that uh, people can know how to shut down their room and have their parachute folded nicely. So I thought I would do that for you since I'm, I'm about to do it right now to shut my room down. So a um, little background. I used to work at Hancock Fabrics when I was in college, and we used to have to fold like large pieces of fabric. So I learned how to do that, and you can apply my knowledge to your parachute if that's what you'd like to do. So first thing you're going to do is, you know, get your parachute. I got my super big one, but this works on a, like a smaller one too. And um, you're going to start folding it kind of in half. And it's very easy to do that. So all you need to do is where two colors come together, that's going to be where you're going to start folding in half. You're going to take one hand is holding at that fold. The other hand, you're going to kind of slide down. I've got one finger between the two pieces there just kind of straightening that out until I get to the another piece of the wedge. I'm going to take that and I'm going to hold it between like my thumb and my middle finger. Then I'm going to do it again for the next wedge. What you're doing is kind of making this just more manageably sized. Now I am almost six feet tall, so it's a little easier for me to do this. If you're a Normal sized human, it might be a little harder, but you know, whatever, you make it work. Okay, so we're gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna fast forward through this so it's not super awkward eventually. I'm on my pinky now. See how I've kind of got the fabric between my hands there? Okay. Of course, if you get a friend, it makes it a little easier to do this, but I lone wolf it at my school. I know a lot of us do. So, Gonna get those wedges folded together. I'm having to kind of double up in my hands a little bit. That's okay. All right, you're at the other end of the parachute now. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna start folding kind of the like colors together on mine. But I'm going. You kind of got it folded in half now. I'll back up a little bit so you can see. This is what we're working with here. I'm gonna go back. Kind of drop things a little bit, find where I started, and I'm going to start putting these colors together. So like I got my green and my yellow together here, I'm going to put those together. Oh, that's twisted. Don't twist it, that makes it worse. See, I'm grabbing four pieces of fabric now, fold them back on itself. My blue and my red together. You've got this kind of parachute. This is a pair, the big parachute from West that we all have. But, you know, usually you get to do that together. See, I kind of have to fold it a little bit using all of my stuff here. There's my red and my blue. There's my green and my yellow, and that's actually fold there. Pretty cool. Give it a little bit of a shake. Now you're going to do the same thing again. Put my greens and my yellows together. Got eight pieces of fabric here. You want to kind of keep it all, keep it all going in the same direction. My green and my yellow wedges all together. The red and my blue. I want to make sure I've got all eight pieces here. Like that, and I'm just gonna bring these two together. I've got a nice little wedge here. Straighten that out. I'm gonna get on the floor now. You're not a floor person. Find someone who is, because you're gonna need to be on the floor for this. Move my camera rig over here and point that down a little bit. You can kind of see what's going on there. So I've got this wedge here. I want to make sure it's like as flat as possible. Sorry guys, I'm really bad with the video. My bad. Oh, and now my lights went off. You can dance. Find the motion sensor. Okay. Now 
I'm going to take this far edge here and fold it back that way to make myself a little tighter wedge. I don't have to worry about on this side over here because it's already smaller. I'm going to do that one more time. Tighter wedge. And you want to smooth out all of that air. Now, we're going to start folding it. I start from the edge of the handles. I'm going to fold it over. Pull it down. Fold it over. Keep it nice and tight. Push out the air. Fold it over. Keep it nice and tight. Now, remember I said I worked at Hancock's. So I know what kind of 18 inches by 12 inches looks like. That's about the size of your parachute bag. Keep folding. Folding. When I get that air out, I learned that rolling a uh, raincoat and tiger band. Keep the air out. I like to fold the end back in on itself and fold it in. There's your parachute. I'm gonna go get my bag. There's my bag. I get this in. Might not have done it perfectly, but it's good enough. I'll keep it nice during the summer. It'd be nice when I unfold it in the fall. My kids always think it's really cool. Parachute in the bag. Have a great summer. And do that thing that all the bloggers do.